Today we're here at the Port of Brisbane to take a look at one of Menard's unique ground improvement techniques, vacuum consolidation. This is one of Menard's many techniques that we utilise to innovate foundation solutions for the client. This is Menard's seventh project here at the Port of Brisbane and we are extremely happy to be back here. The Port of Brisbane chooses the vacuum consolidation over other sorts of ground improvement, uh, basically due to its flexibility and its implementation. What we like to do for our future tenants is to provide them with a certain post-construction settlement uh, for a certain design load without having to lock them in to what their building types, what their foundations, where the roads have to be. So it provides us with great flexibility with that. Utilising the vacuum consolidation, we were able to bring forward our program, which is very important for the Port of Brisbane to be able to lease this property out to tenants. The port and marine space, especially here at the Port of Brisbane, is conducive to deep compressible soils. Combined with the port's need to have large areas of heavy loaded foundations is the perfect environment for a ground improvement solution. So a little bit about the vacuum consolidation technique and what it is. First we start with installing a slurry wall. In this case we install the soil bentonite slurry wall, uh, which is a continuous wall that goes around the full perimeter of the project, which you can see here. Installing, you know, 50, 20 metres deep, a backfill material which is basically uh, sand, clay that has been dug out of the ground, mixed up with bentonite and put back in the ground. So that wall completely encapsulates the site. Uh, we then install wick drains, so PVDs. The purpose of this PVD is to actually penetrate the ground and allow for drainage pathways for the vacuum pumps to suck the water out of the soil matrix at depth. So we install PVDs everywhere and then after that, we install this black membrane that you can see here today within the trench and then over the top of the PVDs. All the PVDs are connected at top as well so that when we turn the pumps on, which you can see here, the vacuum pressure is sucked, yes, from the soil matrix, but the black membrane compresses onto the soil, the walls and everything works as a complete system. The phase we don't see today is actually a capping layer of sand and that layer of sand will be pushed out just to create a small confining pressure for the vacuum membrane. So what we have here is you can see a welded seam where the liners have been welded together and then the connection points where the vacuum pumps, so this is the vacuum pump here, is actually connected to the membrane and underneath connected to the wick drains. What is really interesting is actually you can see some of the water within these pipes being sucked out by the vacuum pump, but it's not a continuous flow of water. What has happened is that confining pressure within the soil matrix has drawn out the free water um, and is now applying that pressure to the soil matrix. So we are still seeing some of that free water come out of the soil and basically the water is drawn out and removed from this parcel of land. So as we approach the outer perimeter of the project, we approach uh, the coastal infrastructure of the port. So what's important for this port is that we don't uh, damage or impact on this coastal infrastructure. And that's the key reason why vacuum consolidation was chosen for this project, was really the fact that we couldn't preload four metres high uh, because there is a stability issue. As you increase that preloading, you need to have a stability burn. And as you can see, there's no space for a stability burn. We'll see this black membrane actually compacting the ground. Menard have a wealth of experiences, not just uh, locally, but globally that they can draw upon, uh, which we found very favourable. So we had confidence with the Menard MGN joint venture. Uh, they've always shown professionalism, uh, commitment to delivering us the best solution, cost-effective solutions, and also the best technical solutions. For those reasons, we'll continue to look forward to working with Menard in the future. The Paddock B1 project at Port of Brisbane is a great example of Menard's leadership and ground improvement in the port sector. We'd like to thank Port of Brisbane for their continued support to Menard and its joint venture partner, MGN Civil. We really do look forward to continuing to innovate on current and future prospects.